Hey everyone. We're gonna do a little power stretch today. All that means is we're gonna use a little bit more of a flow movement rather than just static stretching. So we'll do some dynamic movements as well as static. Um, I'm gonna use the band today. So if you have a band, great. If you don't have a band, another option would be a long scarf. It needs to be pretty long. And one more option that's not as comfortable, but if you have a very long, say, rope, <laughs> skipping rope, um, that would work. A cloth rope, skipping rope would be great, or leather, but just wouldn't feel less restrictive. Um, and if you have a little bit of give. But yeah, you have some options for what you can uh, use. Beat. So just under your hips, hands loose at your sides. Take a big breath in and up, roll it back. Again, big breath and back. There, two more. One more. Awesome, step outside the hips and roll forward. Same thing, four big rolls. Lift up, round it, down, center. Lift up, round it, down and center. One more. Up, round down. Can we step out this way now? Back again. That's it, just getting that stance a little wider. Up and back. Fantastic, two more. Big stretch. Should feel good. Up and back. Good. Hold. One arm. Keep the legs straight, push your hip out. Flatten your back and reach across like you're shaking hands with someone. Bend knees, sweep around. Hey, survey the lands. Out, straight leg, flat back, reach for that hand you wanna shake in the corner there. And then come on up, side. Awesome, release. One more time, it goes up, it goes over, it goes flat, it comes around, it goes flat, and over, and up. Fantastic, other way, one time. Okay, up, and over, keeping the legs straight, flat. Keep it straight, sweep across. There we go, flat side. Up, over, up tall, release, shake out the arms, can you step out one more time either way, side lunges, hands up nice and high, so I'd say that your hip flexors is a good spot, stay tall, good, four, three, two, one more, hold on this side here, hold, both hands to mid thigh. Turn, balance on the back leg, then bend the back knee, take your arms around, keep them low, and just pull down to squeeze the shoulders and lift the chest. Four, can you hold? Three, two, straighten out the back leg, release the hands to the front, again, back onto the mid thigh, push that back heel down, should feel a good stretch start in your calf. And then we're gonna lift, up and down on the angle, okay? So you're slightly tilted. Good. Three more. Two. One more. Face the front. Hands side to side. There we go. Come down nice and tall. Think of shifting the weight in the hips versus leaning into the knees, okay? So sit up. Last time over there, let's hold here. Hold. Hands to mid thigh, we tip forward. Excellent, turn the body, side, keep that long stride. Follow the foot if you have to, step out. Sitting up. Hands back. Get that set up. All right, are you ready? Take hands back to the front and just bend. So here we want the back super straight. So right up, head, shoulder, hip, and knee. One long straight line. Push off the ball of the foot. If you need to take a break, go for it. Okay, four, three more. 
last two. One more time. Good. Hold. Hands behind. Down low. And pull yourself into the most upright position you got. Feel the hip flexor stretch. So that back leg. Awesome. Good job. Release. Lean forward. And back foot flat. As flat as you can get it. Going for calf stretch. And then we're going to do some calf raises to finish, right? So lean into that front leg. You might have to readjust. Like I need to bring my heel in so it's right under my knee. And then we're going to lift up and down. There you go. So not only calf stretch for that back leg, but starting to feel glute. Okay, and this front leg. One more. Hold. Come up. Turn front. Give it a shake. Excellent. All right, let's grab that band. Now if you have the band or the scarf or skipping rope, like I said, those will work. You're gonna take your band, hold, leave some at the end, raise the arms up and to the shoulders. Like you've got a beautiful cape, and this has a hood to it, and you're just taking the hood off. Go for a wide arm span though and you'll find you can go back. Elbows are soft, okay? Not expecting straight arms. If you have a band though, what's nice is you can pull. Okay? If you don't have anything, just hands out. The elbows are bent and you just pull back. Fantastic. One more time. Going back. Hand up. Okay, good. Keep your hands out front. Take your legs back in that position. We're going to lunge and turn. Back to the center. Lunge and turn. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're building up a little bit of power in the shoulders so that when we go to stretch them, they're going to feel fantastic. Okay, so anytime you're feeling tension in your shoulders during the days, you can think of this. One more. Center hold. Now bring it down. You can put your band just down on the floor. Rotation. Bring your feet in just under the hips. And we're just going to rotate. So you were lunging and turning. Now you're going to keep the legs steady. And we're going to take our arms, let our arms loose, and we're going to swing around. Then other way. Back of your hand to the small of your back is your goal. Your other hand hugs your waist, hugs your side. So you want to reach for it. Should be a bit of a reach. So you're going to feel one shoulder. Nice stretch across the back. After doing that exercise of holding your arms up. But you're also going to feel a stretch for front shoulder on the other arm. Awesome. Two more. Last one. Bring center. Release. Shake. Awesome. Grab your band again. It's stretch. Back, hands behind. So, this is ideally what it looks like. Reaching one hand, touch your shoulder. Back of the hand we just did. We're going to try to slide it up. Okay? Stretch for the biceps on the one arm, triceps on the other. What's kind of cool, if you have anything, so it doesn't have to have any give, you can use to help you. So, what it looks like, you take your band behind you, hold about three quarters of the way, or excuse me, a quarter of the way, and then you take your other hands, back of the hands is small of the back, and you grab, okay? And then what you need to do is pull that bottom hand down in order to stretch the top arm, okay? So the top arm going for triceps, that's it. Bottom arm, you're going for bicep. And just hold for four, three, two. Now let's do the opposite meaning. Let's stretch the front of the arm. Now we're going to back of the arm on the bottom arm, yeah? And then up here, you should feel the back of the arm working instead of stretch. Okay, so all that means is if you don't have a band, it just means that you need to lift the hands higher and then lower. Come down, try it again. So let me show you without the bands. Right here, 
I'm working on this arm, this one, two more, and then I want to work the bottom arm. So I move that one up a little higher. So if you don't have a band, you don't have to worry about it. It's the last time on this side. Two more. Last one. Release the arms. Take a second. Go out. Go out. Other side. So you start with just taking back of the hand, small of the back, palm to your shoulder. Okay, you don't need to bring it in center yet unless you're feeling pretty flexible. If you've got your band, you go for it. Okay, so it's this side. I might go back of the hand, small of the back. Yeah. And then when you're ready, let's pull. We want the top arm to do the maximum stretch. So I'm going to pull my bottom arm if I've got a band. So I'm gonna pull it down to make my top arm stretch a little more. Okay, so make sure that's where you're feeling it. If it bothers your shoulder, take out the bottom arm, use it in front and press on the arm instead. You'll find one side definitely easier than the other. Okay, relax. Let's do the other hand. So that top arm now, if you have the band, try to pull up. And then your arm is being stretched. Okay? If you don't have a band, just slide that bottom arm up a little higher. It was the small of your back. Now try to see if you can get closer to the mid back. Okay, that's what you're going for. Good, release. Let's do it again. I'll do it without your band. Okay, so I want to stretch that top arm. So that one is that shoulder. I'm going to slide it more. Slide it more. Or if I had the band, I would pull with my bottom arm. Okay. Two. Good. One more. Now relax. And we need that bottom arm now. So we're going to, if you have the band, you pull. If you don't have a band, my hand is about mid-back. So I'm a little more flexible on this side. I'm going to try to slide it up almost between my shoulder blades. So I'm going to try to go a little higher than what I did before. Four. Feel that bottom arm stretching. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, so we release everything. Shake it out. Nicely done. Not the end of the world. What we're looking at is taking the band and putting it around the feet. Okay, we're going to hold on to the ends. Unless you have a really long band or a tube with the handles, just wrap them around so that it's a little more resistance, okay? If you don't have one, that's fine. You're just going to sit up nice and tall, and we're going to try to stretch our back. So what we want to do is we want to round their back. So you're going to take your hands together. That's what your resistance is going to be if you don't have a band. Here, you're going to just round. So you need the resistance. So I even need to take this more. Going to sit up and we do it again round the back. Think mid to upper. Yep, you're not really sitting back a lot yet. Mid to upper. Awesome. One more back. Perfect. All right, so now one foot. So you're going to take the band over one foot only, okay, and we're going to take it onto our sides, so what I do is I slide over, and I pull, just take that band over your shoulder, this is a sideline quad stretch, so if you don't have a band, you're reaching for your foot, your ankle, shoe, sock, whatever you can grab a hold of, and pulling your foot behind you. Okay, the band just gives you a little bit extra help. Awesome. Now what you do is release that, come up, and you would switch. Yeah, super simple. You take it around the other foot, hold on to the ends. That's going to be your top leg. You're going to bend at the knee. shoulder okay so it's a sideline quad stretch 
If you're not comfortable up on the forearm, lie right down on your side. If you don't have a band, you don't need it. Just grab onto your foot. Next stretch we're gonna do, we're gonna lie on our back. Again, using the band as an option for inner thigh. So we release this. If you have the band, keep it in. Let me show you. And we're gonna be using the band to stretch. If you don't have a band, it's all good. I get rid of it, same thing. Everybody, come on down. I got the leg up in the air. If you've got no band, that's cool. Your option would be to take your arm, same hand as the leg that's up, and we're gonna let that leg go, and you can use your hand as a stopper. You wanna make it lower, move your hand out. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you got the band, you're holding it with the opposite arm. Now we're just letting that leg drop, 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 and then come back up. Okay, again, take it out, and drop, 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 and come back up. One more time, third time's a charm. How low can you drop it now that it's kind of gone out a couple times? And then back up, fantastic. If you have your band, you need to switch feet. Easiest way is to bring your other leg up, step it into your band, take that one down, and now hold it with the other hand, okay? If you don't have your band, you're just switching feet. So let me show you with the band. You're holding the band in the opposite hand, okay? Flex your foot, and then let your leg drop out. Okay, and remember, if you don't have a band, hand acts as a stopper. Then keep your leg as straight as you can. Good, come on up, up, up. Round two. Can you go a little lower? And back up. And round three. The lowest you got. Drop, 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 drop. And back up. Awesome. All right. If you have the band, unwrap, one in hand, handle in each hand, both feet up. We're going to push the feet apart. If you don't have a band, obviously just leg drop. So we're going to push apart. And we're just going to take it to wide as if we were standing up just outside the hips. Come back in. I need you to take a step a little wider. And then push out. Okay, come back in. Third time's a charm, out, and then push from there. Okay, and so if you didn't have the band, you just drop a little. Second time, drop a little more. Third time, you drop as low as you can, hands under the legs to act as a stopper. Hold four more. Three, two, and one. All right, you can release. Walk your feet back in if you've got the band. And we're all gonna roll up to sit. So everyone, legs together, big kick, roll, have a seat. Up. Awesome. All right. That's it for today. So just a quick 20-minute power stretch, dynamic movement at the beginning, some band work to help you with uh, extending your mo flexibility, your range of motion. Okay. If you find that you do stretches, but you don't feel like you're any, getting any more flexible, usually you need to use something, a prop of some sort. So. Another thing you can do, if you don't have the bands, but you do have something that's heavy, you can also use that to help you with some of the stretches.